We're told that Bridget is getting ready to open a small restaurant and she's on a tight budget. So she must choose between the following long distance phone plans. The plan A is that so plan A is that she pays 10 cents per minute of long distance calling. 10 cents. Oh, okay. Per minute of long distance calling. The plan B is that she pays a fixed monthly fee of $15. So this is fee fixed, right? For up to 240 long distance. For 240 long distance minutes and eight cents per minute thereafter. Right. If she uses fewer than 240 minutes in any month, she'll pay 15 for the month. So she's going to pay 15 for every month for 240 minutes. If she uses more than that, then she'll pay. 8 cents per minute after and the plan c is that she's going to pay a fixed monthly fee of 22 dollars for up to 520 510 long distance minutes and 5 cents per minute after so now first question wants us to draw a graph of the total monthly cost of the three plans for different levels of monthly long distance calling. So, for the question, for the first question, let x let x be the number of minutes required between plan A and B. So we can see since plan A and plan B have equal cost, right? We can say that 0 0.10, which is the cents, x equals to $15. And then we can say that x is equal to 15 plus, no, rather, divided by 0 0.10. And then x is equal to 150 minutes. So this is the minutes, right? So let's so we're going to let y be the number of minutes required between plan B and C. Between plan B and C. Now, since plan B and C have equal cost, we can say that $15 plus 8 cents, open bracket, Y minus 240, is equal to 22. And then 0 0.88 cents, Y minus 240, is equal to 22 minus $15. And then Y minus 240 is equal to 7 divided by 0 0.08. And then y is equal to 87.50 plus 240. So y is equal to 327.50 minutes, right? So based on the calculation we have done, we can prepare the table that shows the number of minutes per month for all the plans. And we take the table should look like this with the minutes per month i'm going to do mp mp so this is the minute and then we have plan a we have and it's in dollars per month we have plan b and we have plan c so so for zero minutes, for A, we're going to have dash dollars. 
for B it's going to be fifteen dollars and for C is twenty two dollars. For fifty minutes, so we have five dollars. Here we have fifteen dollars. Here we have twenty two dollars. Because remember what the requirement said that we can make um calls for up to um for up to two forty minutes monthly for fifteen for B and for C five ten minutes for twenty two monthly. So that's how we're getting that. And A, B, and C is in dollars. This is in minutes. So for 100 minutes, we're going to have $10 for A, 15 for B, and still 15 and still 22 for C. So for 150 minutes, we're going to have 15 here, 15 here, and 22 here. Still 22. Now for 200 minutes, we're going to have 20 here, 15 here, and still 22 here. Now for... For 240 minutes, because that's why there's a change. For 240 minutes, we're going to have 24 here, 15 here, and 22 here. Now, for 300 minutes, we're going to have 30, 19.80. And we're going to have 22 here. For 327.5 minutes, we're going to have 32.75, we're going to have 22, and we're going to have 22 here. Now for 315 minutes, we're going to have 35, we're going to have 23.80, we're going to have 22. For 400 minutes, we're gonna have 40, we're gonna have 27.80, we're gonna have um 22. For 450, we're gonna have 45, 31.80, and 22. And for 510, we're gonna have 51. 30.60 and 22. Now for 540, we're gonna it's just gonna keep being the same requirement according to the question give like according to what the question gives us. So this is what the, the table should look like. And then based on the figure, we can prepare a graph that shows the number of long distance minutes and the total cost. And that should look like this. So the total cost to be right here and the number of long of minutes to be right here. And then we're gonna have here from zero to sixty. And here from hundred to six hundred. And it's basically, um, the plan A is basically going to be a straight graph. I might not draw exactly, but you follow what the table shows you. It's going to be a straight graph, and this is plan A. Plan um B is going to go from here, then stops all of a while from being straight, and then it curves all the way here. Yeah, to that point, and this is B. And then C straight all the way from 20 all the way down to like right here and then and this is C so this is what the graph should look like basically and from the graph that's it now the second question which plan should Ashton choose, which is Bridget? What plan should she choose if she expects to make 100 minutes of long distance calls, 240 minutes, and 5 
40 minutes so we want to find what plan she use if she's taking if she needs if she needs to make 100 minutes to 40 minutes and 5 40 minutes so in each region a plan chooses a ch a chooses a plan that will have the lowest cost if we go back to the graph we can tell that a plan a should buy that she should buy a plan a for you know zero to one fifteen minutes because if you can look back you can see that it gets better and she should buy plan b for one fifty from one fifty to three twenty seven minutes then she should buy plan c for more than for more than 327.5 minutes so if a plans to make 100 minutes of long distance calls each month then she should choose plan a so if she wants to make 100 minutes she should choose plan a then if she wants to make 240 minutes then she should choose plan b and if she wants to make 3 40, 5 40 minutes she should choose plan c because that's just the best that will give her the lowest cost And 